Welcome back to Farming Center 17. Today we'll be doing some public works here on the Score Farms map. We'll be hopping here in our 2016 Ram 1500 Limited Crew Cab and we'll be making our way over to the new shop. Today we'll be repairing a few curbs and a few sidewalks here in the town. They did get damaged in a few recent storms and we gotta go repair them. The sidewalks do need complete repaving so today we'll be using the 2014 Ford F550 Rack Body Dump Truck and the Bobcat S770 Skid uh, Steer and the truck is already full of asphalt ready to go and it's all loaded up I really do like that a lot we loaded up the night before to make it a bit more efficient in the mornings for us and it's a bit easier just to hop in the trucks and arrive now a lot of you guys did show a lot of support in the moving to this shop which was very nice we will be moving the construction shop very soon to a very similar building which I can't wait for that and then we'll be starting a new project there with uh, the construction crew we'll be coming over here I really do want to kind of use these doors more and more it's a bit uh, more realistic since there's no garage door openers here on the outside only on the inside you, you could really open these up and that's how I really want it to be so come over here we'll lock that up and we'll just open this up over here is a setup for today, like I did touch upon, 2014 Ford F550 regular cab, rack body dump truck, and the Bobcat S770, along with a BBM 20-foot trailer and a few traffic cones. The cones will make it a little bit more realistic, and big shout out goes out to Wood Metal Farming for releasing this dump truck and the skid steer. They released some pretty epic mods, and I just can't wait to use more and more of their mods. We'll head out here from our shop, and we do actually have to go into the town. There's a little bit of a bump, I will be kind of working working on that too but wow I mean full of asphalt I was going to take one of the other trucks but we haven't really used this truck too much and I really just want to showcase the newer trucks here in the game next up we will have to come back over here and lock it up and I, I think we'll just kind of close it from over here and we'll close it and we'll just run out now you guys can see that we do have security cameras here which is very helpful when the public works department is closed at night we do need to make sure it's secure and I will be getting a public works sign that says score farms public works that will be a very nice thing to add also We'll head out here and make our way towards the town. Now the shop is kind of on the edge of the town, which is okay. Sometimes it's nice to be in the center, but I kind of like it on the, like the farm land side. It's a lot quieter than being directly in the town. But you guys can see this S770, very big skids here, our largest one. And I just really do like it a lot. I do get a lot of requests to use this, and we will be adding this to our farm. A lot of you guys did ask me to do that during the live streams. And if you haven't already, I do recommend it. you go check out the weekly live streams. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 6 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays are for farming. Now, this F550, fully loaded with asphalt, is doing a really nice job towing this load. I mean, it's a pretty heavy load for it, but it looks like the park is up here. Yep, and we are going to the correct area. Yep, uh, just trying to make sure we are. There's just so many different turns to go to, and the curb that we do have to repair is this one here, so we don't want to go in that. Uh, that won't be too good for us. So what we do want to do is... You guys will actually be seeing the sidewalk up here removed on both sides. The storm did a lot of damage to it. So I think it would be safest for us to kind of park the trailer here in the park, which is owned by the town. So we'll get this unloaded, and we'll just take a quick look at the curb that we got to replace. And then we'll also take a quick look at uh, the sidewalk. Now the sidewalk will be the biggest of the two, but that will be okay. We'll just hop out of the truck before we do unload, and wow, that can destroy a tire. So it looks like one bucket load of asphalt there, and then the rest of it we could put over there. So that looks pretty good. We'll take these cones. Looks like one of them did fall over, and we'll kind of try to hit it against the side. Sometimes these are a bit tricky to kind of get tipped back over, but that is okay. Even if it does get uh, stay like that, we'll still use it. We'll give this one last try really quick. Just run it into the trailer, and wow, that almost did do it. One last one here. And I'm not sure really if there is a good way to kind of do this, but yeah, we're just going to work with it here. We'll put this one right there, and then the next one we do want to put here at the front of the trailer. Actually, we probably right about there. Oh, and just move it like that. So that looks to be perfect. We'll remove the skid steer here. Turn on the LED light bar. Really do need that for public works. There's traffic passing by, everything like that. And we are here on the Square Farms map beta. I did release uh, not too long ago. And I do recommend you go over to Instagram and go check out the recent mods that I currently am working on. A John Deere 1025R with a loader in the mower deck. A uh, 
Kubota BX Series compact tractor with a backhoe and front loader and a John Deere uh, 9000A train cut mower. So, I mean, some pretty cool mods. Now, the compact tractors will be uh, kind of uh, released at the same time, which should be a pretty cool thing, too. But uh, they will be released probably towards the start of fall uh, next few months. But the mower will be probably, probably released towards the end of the summer, and then there will be a one-month uh, difference between the two. We'll uh, kind of just dump it here into the bucket. That's going to be a lot easier than to put it all in the road where you have to clean it up at the end of the day. Now I'm actually thinking maybe a few more buckets over here, but wow, this skid steer is pretty cool. And big shout out once again, it goes out to Wood Metal Farming for releasing this one epic mod. And all of the public mods will be linked down below in the description so that you guys can check them out. Looks like we could probably scrape up a little bit over here. It's a little too high, but wow, one bucket load, like I was estimating, looks like one bucket load will be probably perfect. Actually, we'll probably go get another one just to be safe, and we do want to do a really good job so we don't have to come back out here. Like I did touch upon very early in today's video, we did move over to that brand new shop. I do recommend you go check out the moving video. A lot of you guys really did like that, which is great. I do like that shop too. Can't wait to feature it on more and more uh, videos and along with a construction shop going to move to that very soon. I just ordered that building for a different spot here on a different map. So that will be actually pretty interesting. So you guys can see that looks to be nice. We'll just kind of come a little bit more and we'll try to unload here. We just need to get kind of right up against it and we'll let it kind of do it slowly. Looks like it's going to be a bit trickier than what it was really wanting to be. And let's kind of just drive on and driving on it really does compact it. Usually you would put your bucket, but the bucket here in Farming Simulator would kind of scrape it up. And I'm very excited for the brand new Farming Simulator 19. It's going to be one epic game. You guys can see that we did actually do a very nice job. We'll turn the opposite way. This will do a nice even compact. And then we'll switch over to the uh, sidewalk. Now the sidewalk will probably take the entire truck load, if not more, because it's a pretty wide sidewalk. And we were told that it just got damaged in this uh, in the uh, storm. And uh, not sure exactly how maybe the water uh, rushed it away. But wow, both sides of the street. So I think we'll work here on this right side. And we'll bring the dump truck over. It's a lot better to be efficient than to just take more time going back and forth. Especially crossing this traffic. Uh, that won't be a good thing. We'll just kind of unload that bucket there. And we'll uh, get the dump truck. Now we do have the strobe lights going on both of these, which is pretty important. Maybe, just maybe, we'll have to call out the aero truck if traffic does get a bit tricky and heavier. But for now, it's actually pretty quiet. And it's kind of mid-morning, so not uh, lunch traffic yet, and not kind of rush hour from the morning. It's right in between those, so we are a bit lucky having not too much traffic right now. We'll back up, and actually, no, we gotta pull forward, and we gotta bring the bu uh, bucket of this good seer closer. I do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos. It's a lot of fun to upload to YouTube every single day. And you guys are the ones that are making it possible. And I really do appreciate it. Uh, making YouTube videos is a very cool thing that I really do enjoy doing every single day. And it's just a lot of fun. Especially your awesome video ideas makes it even better. So this will be a bit tricky to kind of get. And yes, we should really get a compactor. We'll have to call out another crew to come with a compactor because we do have one. But for now, we'll wait and we'll call out that crew uh, once we leave here. We'll just kind of come along here, try to do a nice clean pass, and we'll try that once again because there's a little hump here. Try to scrape up that little bit there in the street, but wow, the uh, replacement here of this isn't actually doing that bad. Next up, I do want to just kind of take this. It is a little too high, so I do want to just kind of not bring more out of the truck unless it's really needed because then we have to haul it away. We have to do so many extra things, so we do want to try to just use what we have and then kind of just work with that. So it looks like over here is good. It looks like actually this is perfect as is, so we'll just kind of clean this up. If you do have any cool public work video ideas, please let me know down below in the comments. I really do like this series, going around the town, acting as if uh, we are contacted by uh, the people of the town, kind of just go repair it, and I mean, we actually do a very nice job. Now, over here, we will have to clean up. It won't be perfect like uh, the sidewalk is next to it on either side, but we do a pretty good job, and I always try my best. 
try to scrape up a little bit more looks like nothing is really coming and that looks to be fine a little bit kind of caught there but we should be able to drive on this and once we drive on it it should compact down and there we go guys just take a look that this is spreading out quite a bit and wow i mean that actually doesn't look that bad now we do have to watch out that we don't get stuck here i mean it's going to be a pretty heavy skid steer and uh we'll have to clean this up once again I think that that is just about good here, and like I did touch upon, it's very hard to get it as close as we can, but that looks to be good, and we'll switch over here to the other side. Awesome, so next up we'll switch over here, and we'll try to clean it up, and we do actually have to clean some of that out of the road. We're just going to dump this there, and that was actually, that right there is the perfect bucket, so I think we'll have to do that same uh, style, just kind of unload it as we drive forward. That, that is almost like pretty much done over there, the one that we uh, nicely did already, so wow. Uh, you do learn and you do get better at it once you do it for some time, and we are caught there on the curb, and nope, on the part of the street. We'll have to come here get another bucket. It actually looks like we do have enough here for today's drop, which is always nice, but wow, probably one, one and a half more buckets, and then that's pretty much it here from this dumb truck, and it looks like this will actually be our last bucket, and then we'll call it a day once we do this, we'll head back and get loaded up, just do a little bit more, and wow, I mean, this one turned out way better, and that looks to be perfect, we'll just do a little bit more of a cleanup, kind of do that. And you guys can see drop has been complete. We'll just cut nicely clean up both sides. But wow, we got the sidewalk back. Should be able to walk on it here within the next few days. But you always do want a few days there. And I'm way over. That is now perfect. Nice clean line there for that sidewalk. And like I did touch upon, can't be as realistic as what I really would like it to be. It is very hard, but we do a very nice job at it. So that's it. And we'll actually just load it up here from the back to add some more weight to the back end. And that is it, guys. So we'll uh, bring the skids here back over there, and we'll get it back uh, onto the trailer. Now, I will not be loading this onto the trailer until I get the truck reattached, just because I do not want uh, the trailer to go up in there. Just trying to find this uh, sidewalk area, the break in the sidewalk to kind of go up onto the curb. But wow, I mean, today was a pretty successful day for us overall. And like I have touched upon in previous videos, I do try to do longer videos for you guys, but sometimes drop at task like today isn't really... Uh, long enough to do a pretty long video and I just do my average length we'll be backing up here looks like traffic is good we'll turn our hazard lights on to make it a bit easier but wow this F550 regular cab is amazing I really do like the regular cabs I usually call them single cabs they're just perfect for working especially the public works and we will be changing the public works to all yellow I think that that'll be a very nice color We'll get reattached here, and all of the public mod links will be down below in the, the description of today's video. Now, that shop I did add here to the Square Farms map, but I will have the link to the map that I did get on. It's actually a brand new map, Lone Oak Farms. I mean, it's an awesome map. I really do recommend it, and it's go check it out. And it is actually on the official website, too, which is pretty cool. So, you guys, since we got this loaded up, and we'll just kind of drop that there. We'll get this one. We'll head back over to the shop. And then we'll hop back in our ram and call it a day. But that is awesome. Wow, we actually do have a little bit left. So we'll have to see what uh, other areas of the town do need to be fixed. Now, it does look like the cones do move around on us just a little bit. You guys can see that actually did really help out there, which is nice. And we shouldn't really be driving on it that fast. I actually just noticed that we were driving on it. So that's not the best thing to do. But um, people will drive on it, especially when we don't cone it off. We still do have the LED lights going on both of them, so we do have to turn those off. But wow, I mean, today's a pretty successful day here for the Public Works. If you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow. I do post some pretty cool sneak peeks to mods and everything like that. You guys can get the latest updates on the mods that will be released here on the channel. The compact tractors and also the big John Deere uh, train cut mower. But I think once we do arrive back, we'll call it a day. We are now arriving back here at the Public Work Headquarters. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Public Works video repairing the sidewalks and the curbs here on the Square Farms map with the Ford F550 and the Bobcat Skid Seer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.